I'm so sorry to bother you. I actually just bought a lawnmower and I just saw your lawn. Oh, okay. Come check it out. Um, it's amazing. We got something to do today. <laughs> but I gotta get coffee. Let's go. What's up? Thank you. See you guys. They know me very well in there. Oh, you know what? I gotta put the F ND filter on because it's like. You don't want to watch blown out highlights all day. I'm already in a good mood. I don't even need coffee, but it's just an added. Come on, everybody. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's so much better. Look at that. You know me. Coffee. Ah. You know me. I am a lawnmower junkie. And not just any lawnmower. I am a real mower a junkie. And for those of you who are new here, you have your rotary mowers, which pretty much everyone has. Blade spins and chops up the grass multiple times and gets it going and multiple cuts and it looks all fringy and jaggedy when it's done, right? Then you have the real mower. Cylinder, it's like a scissor, right? The blade to the bed knife comes together. Shink, shink. One cut on the blade. One cut. Boom. Smooth, sharp cut. You can cut, well then you have to cut more frequent, okay? So that it's it's a process, and it's, it takes up a lot of time. Hence why I have a YouTube channel dedicated to real mowing. <laughs> and yeah, you know, making your lawn nice, but realistically, without the real mower, my lawn's not looking like this. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it'll look like level one on the ego all the way down. It's a nice, it's a nice little cut. It's not bad. Better than all the neighbors. That real mower is gonna give you them stripes. Well, I can't say that too, because the rotary mower gives you stripes too, if you have a stripe kit. But there's just nothing like the cut of a real mower. So we are off to lovely Marysville, Washington. All right, my dudes, let's see how long it's gonna take us to get to Marysville. One, two, three, baby. See, sign, sign from the universe. This is supposed to happen. One, two, three. One hour, 23 minutes. Angel numbers. This is gonna be so fun. Here, let me, uh, let me read some information on this to you. Atco, Atlas Chain Company, was a British mower company from 1981 to 1990, making lawn mowers and garden tools. It sold a range of lawn mowers, including lawn and garden tractors. Lovely. Now, this is just wiki, and it's like giving me very vague information on my specific one I'm picking up. And at the same time, when I go to research the one I'm actually picking up, it's saying it's a five blade. It's a five blade real mower. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. There's a Vin Diesel car right there. There's a charger. Look at Vin Diesel up in here. Look at BDD. Okay, at cool. Yeah, I have no information. Sorry, Vin Diesel's car just distracted me. So bad. I need to find more information on this because a lot of these websites say that it's a five blade. It's a 10 blader. So my UK subs, you guys let me know what's up with this uh, with this little mower. To me, it looks like a web. A metal web with 10 blades, a roller in the front, but it looks like it's grooved <laughs> because it's like spaced apart. Sexy. Rear drum. Sexy. Green's mower. Sexy. <laughs> You can tell I'm just a fool for these real mowers. I mean, guys, this is a London special again. This is a London special. Can you get some towels for me, please? I'm really losing a lot of blood. You sound like you're from London. London special. Hello, you cheeky bastard. You cheeky bastard. You cheeky bastard. <laughs> You cheeky bastard. Do you like dogs? Yeah, dogs. Dogs? Do you like dogs? Oh, yeah. I like dogs. <laughs> what else can you ask for? You know what I mean? What else can you ask for? He doesn't really know what it is. I know what it is. <laughs> That's the best situation. I was like, hey, bro, what's the year on this? What can you tell me about it? <laughs> Hits me up. Wake up to it. 
It's a Atco shortcut 10 blade that, that he calls. He calls me. I'm not gonna lie, it's rusty and it needs a little bit of maintenance. And he called it a um, reverse lap. He called it a reverse lapping. We call it back lapping. He called it reverse lapping. And I said, okay, cool, cool, cool. That's fine. Um, when can I pick it up? <laughs> I don't need. A, I don't need anything else. Are you available? It's Memorial Day, guys. Happy Memorial Day. But I'm like, whoa, what's your address? Because I'm gonna pick this up. Hundred dollars. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did, did, did you say a, a hundred or a thousand? No, a hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't. I don't think I understand. Always something happening. Always something. Just like, boop, yard bra, here you go. Here's some more material for you peeps. For you dudes. What's next? A freaking Alex Sterling's just gonna fall into my lap from the sky? That'd be hilarious. That would be hilarious. You can tell I'm, I'm coughing up right now. I'm a little hyped up. Number one, Fantastic Voyage. Number two, New Real Mode. Actually, sorry, New Dreams Mode. Number three, we get to we get to mess around with it. This is so fun, dude. I, I don't think you guys understand this. But this is not me, like, trying to act for YouTube either. This is genuine excitement. Like, I know some people should be acting for YouTube. I'm not acting. This is me. This is who I am. This is who I am. And when I'm excited about lawnmower, I'm going to tell you straight about I'm, I'm excited. You can see my body language. I'm like, no, I don't do cocaine. <laughs> I don't do drugs. I went to the Army Surplus yesterday that Philip told us about, so stay tuned for those new killer boots that I bought. Blow your mind away. And I got this little compass to match my other little paracord bracelet. But the cool thing about this is it's also a knife. Just in case we gotta open up some burnt. Oh, Vin Diesel's car is right in front of me. straight up just 69. I'm just looking at the rear view right now. Never in your life will you ever see a, ch a charger again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! <laughs> Hello! Now it's a party. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, turtle head is poking out and I'm rubbing cotton. There's a safe way, they better have a bathroom. Oh, I'm about to shit my pants. This coffee's a nat natural laxative. Oops. He says he has like 30 mowers. So I took out an extra 20 just in case there's like a seven blade or a, another 10 blader. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go find this bathroom. I feel so much better. All right, let's go grab this epic little mower. My collection is just growing by every month. It just grows. Are you guys just as obsessed with lawnmowers as I am? Or is it just is this just me? Am I just a freak? Guys, we're at a golf course. Oh hell yeah. This is a golf course neighborhood. Oh my gosh, we're right down the road. Alright. Golf course neighborhood. Pulling up in the golf course. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I wanna mow a golf course. I want to go to a golf course and mow. Where are you at, Steve? I'm getting a little excited. I already pooped. My stomach's bubbling again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Hell yeah, you're... Steve, do you mind if I film for YouTube? Uh, I don't mind. Okay, cool, thank you. Nice. You okay if I step on the lawn? Uh, yeah, if, uh, 
<laughs> nice to meet you. Cool. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. Yeah, I, I checked out the. Uh, Did, site you earlier. Yeah, Did you see it? Yeah, it's yeah. cool. He had some nice, uh, nice mowers. Then he took a, I think it was a, was a Thatcher or something like that. Be Thatcher, yeah. Yeah. That mower, well, doesn't that make you cry a little bit when you do that? Or, oh, yeah. or do you know what's going to happen down the road, I guess? Exactly. <laughs> it takes about, you know, two, three weeks to spring back up. This is a 10 blade. I believe, yeah. That's what I think I counted on there. So this is an old UK greens mower. Yeah, I, I found them advertised over there on some old ads. Inside here, there's a. I was trying to get a picture, but there's a, uh, a cast in the casting here. There's a name, and mm -hmm. so I was trying to figure out what the heck that was. So I actually have the Web H12R, and it's the same body and everything. Huh. But it's a five blade, and it's mostly plastic. Oh, be darn. So I'm guessing Web has something to do with Atco as well. Uh -huh. from back in the day you know what i mean but look in between it's a cast in, inside there there's like a, a, a logo oh, yeah, yeah. with the name inside there it's like oh you something something i don't know if you can see it in there it's kind of a roundish or oval thing with the uh, letters in the middle of it qualcast is that what it is at co qualcast is the company oh Qual okay. yeah, yeah, yeah well that's i didn't know what the rest of that was <laughs> what else do you have i, I mean well I, I you got here a little earlier than i expected um I have just the old stuff, okay. uh, but it's nothing like this. Oh, right you have a brill? Uh, yeah. Are you selling the brill? Yep. How much? Uh, that one, it's, it's it's about a little worse condition than that, but I think I mm. sharpened it up. Okay. It, um, 40 bucks, I would, Okay. you know, look at it and see what you think. Yeah, I'll check it out. That's the oldest reel that I have. Ooh, look at that guy. I think I sharpened this thing up, too. Really tall. So you, you, you hit a rock with your McLean? Yeah. Just a little, you know, oh. something probably about a quarter of the size of that. Did it really bit. mess it up? Well, it was go It was sounding like about like that, yeah. and then, then it was starting to go. Ding, 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 you know, you know. Yeah. It, it just, <laughs> <laughs> no. That's the guy I just told us to yesterday, and he. Um, but I think. Steve, this is like super smooth. Yeah. A little bit. Good enough for the average homeowner. Okay. This is old Sears and Roebuck. Yeah, the plate's gone. You know, it's been. Too bad. It's kind of quick release. Uh, that yeah, was, that's cool. Pretty neat for that day. The, I also have a um, silent reel up on the deck, too. It's a heavier one like this. Okay. You might be more obsessed with real mowers than I am. Well, I pick them up and I, uh, every spring I, I resell them. So that's, but I'm getting better at it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But when I'm, I'm sharpening them. I like this one because it's 14 mil. It's so slow. <laughs> yeah, that one I did some work on. It's not perfect as you can see there's a little bit of blade. Uh, but if you want to mow anything over here, it's fine. If, I don't know if it's adjusted right, right now. What are you uh, looking for the, uh, this guy right here? So I took out an extra 20. 20 bucks? Yeah, I think I did some work on that one too. This one, is this the one with the bar in the back? Oh, this one here. So on this, see the other part of blade bed you can adjust the center to, which is kind of scary. Oh, nice. So, it, but you've probably gone through all the videos where guys take these things apart and put them on blades and, and they, they have all that special stuff. I, I, well, your golf course should do it too. It's a community. It's a city course. Um, I never even thought of that. But I, I had one. I told you about the guy I had to do my this guy screwed up. And that's the. Oh yeah, yeah. Now exactly. I do it all myself. <laughs> no, screw it. What compound grit do you use? I just use the, the crappy stuff. Eighty. I use them. I found some kits at garage sales, which is the ones that they sell at the hardware store for twenty bucks. So it's probably an eighty. Yeah. But you know, I guess you're you know, close to what, 80, 120, and then you get yeah. real retentive and you know, probably yeah. finish it off at you know, 200 or whatever the heck it is. Yeah. <laughs> but I, you know, I don't, you know. I don't, uh, I mean, I know about it, but I just don't, uh, I'm not that into it. This is impressive. So, how many do you have a total? Mowers all together right yeah. now? Yeah. Well, I don't even know. That one, that one doesn't <laughs> count, it's just a, a cannibal. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine um, up here. 
Yeah. Nine up there? Yeah. Those are ones I'm selling. Nine, ten, I mean, these 11, are, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm selling too, but people aren't passionate about you, like with these old ones. Yeah. They just want something that's going to be easy. If you adjusted it and it's spinning freely and cutting, uh, I think that one is, is nice. Because that's, that's amazing. But some of them, get, and they're old and crappy and rusty. Yeah, yeah. And they cut like a car. I mean, right? What they, are, what they are. What weed was right here? Was it just Polo and Newer or something? All these weeds out here? Oh, like that. Yeah, okay. and my neighbor, she got one of those things that goes down and... You don't spray? No, with a dog and stuff. Oh, you have a dog. So, got it. Um, again, I told you, I think we got 15 varieties of weeds and about 15... Um, Cultivars in here. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey. Uh, you can try it there. I don't, I don't know if it's... Oh, she's cutting. And that, thing, that, thing, that thing's all rusted, too. It's all, it's a nasty blade. I don't, I think I just tried to get that one going last year to see if I could get it going decent. There's, I guess the other side of it too. Um, and how do you like the adjuster in this baby? That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, the whole, the whole thing's going down. So it goes down a half inch. That goes a half inch? Well, that's what the indicator says. So this guy goes down to like three sixteenths? Maybe, yeah, I don't know where it's at now. It might be too low. But the, you, you gotta, you got the adjuster, yeah, yeah, both those. And then the other two, those are the blade tuning. Yep. This is which is nice if you know what you're doing. Yeah. But yeah. It, you you just breathe on it when you're adjusting it, because that's all that's gonna happen. Then you put some brake free on there or something. Is that what we need? What way are you going? I, I'm assuming these are lefty loosey, right and tidy. Yeah. I want me to. I can go spray some stuff in there that might. Yeah, please. Um, that bolt. It's probably some English thread or something like that. <laughs> I'm taking this guy for sure. And this is called the yard man? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that, you, got, you sold some mowers and uh, you got some random guy mowing your lawn. Yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> I appreciate that. This thing is nice. You tuned this nice, Steve. Well, that was a long time ago, whatever I did to it. I, I can't remember exactly. It um, looks so good. Yeah, the, the blade is. I mean, it, it's, it's been bad. under the deck there a while. I no may have thrown some compound on there. I, you know, again, I got so many of them, and I did some of these things that you know, a year ago. Yeah. We gotta run inside and see if the dog Yeah, yeah. Be right back. Mm -hmm. Well, if this isn't the coolest day on earth, I'm not cool. Someone who has more real mowers than me? That's insane. I mean, he has nine on the deck. Nine on the deck. Steve, you said nine on the deck? Yeah, probably, I think it's nine or ten. I, I'll count again, but. You're, you're worse than me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you're worse than me. I think what's holding it is a plastic nylon piece. Um, I don't think you have anything that's gonna hold in there. Yeah, hold it tight enough. Um, that's definitely webs like that's web h12r's freaking older brother that might be webs dad <laughs> that might be webs dad delicious I mean, the best thing to do is probably just let it soak for a long time, put it maybe overnight or something like that. You're trying now. I'm trying to twist it now. No. No. There we go. You got it. It's stripped. <laughs> the thing's not spinning there. Either. Nope. You got some vice grip there on your hand. <laughs> yeah. I, told, I told you it's working out. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's gonna be a little see. greasy, so. so yes, you gotta sh probably shove it this way after you get them loose. Stretch it down. Oh, there we go. Go, go inward with the. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's going. I thought Here was, we go. I thought it was two years. Just go all the way, all the way to the top. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh! 
cool. You know what I'm saying? I get so giddy. <laughs> with, with real mowers, it's not even funny. Sheesh. Convenient. Yeah. Let me hold off on the brill. If you come up with any Yaki, but I know rare, it. let me know. All right. I'm a customer for life now. <laughs> Are you a pretty mechanical person, too? Oh, yeah. It should charge you more because this one comes with a, uh, a tool it's right here. It comes with a tool? Yeah, it's uh, part of the, the deal. Nice. I owe you. <laughs> you think this is 70, Steve? Or do you think it's older? Uh, my guess is it. It's got a model uh, 1000 5. Got it. There's anything else in place? Yeah, I got one, two, three. Oh, I think I got four snappers in the backyard, but they're all different uh, snappers. Yeah, gas. Oh, can yes. I see those? More modern, but one of them's probably from the maybe 80s okay. or, or 90s. Hey, it's gonna, I'll be back in just a moment. Well, this is fun. Should we get a quick mowing? Let me um, show you the, the other, um, one of them's, I'll open a shed thing. It's just one of those plastic thing. Uh oh, you got the dog pee spots. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell how, how much I care about my dog. <laughs> no snapper. That's the steel deck. These are real nice, um, convenient for, you know, dumping, dumping stuff because all you got to do is that and the back opens up. Nice. And dump it oh in my gosh. Your green waste. Now the older ones, they weren't that easy. So this one's a uh, Pretty much the same deck and setup as that, except for it's it's older. Uh, it has a, that bag might work on here too. I think. Okay. These are. Are you familiar with these at all? This is the first time I've seen them. Uh, they're kind of interesting. I'll tell you a few things about them. Please, my viewers got a history lesson today. The snapper. I'll show you something else it can do, which is nice. Um, that uh, deep that, backer. Yeah, and it had this on the front of it. I'm thinking, what the hell? What the heck? So you just, you hook it up to your um, front axle here, lock it in. No way! And then you can uh, do, uh, there's some adjustments, <laughs> no and it just kind of swings along. You know, it's not dirt, it's not perfect, but you know, you adjust your front wheels, however you're gonna do your the packing, so, and, and then it'll suck it, it up, up. <laughs> afterwards. John Samos. What? But you're gonna be changing the bag a lot, as you know. Yeah, for sure. So that's that kinda... I've never seen that, Steve. It, How much is this guy? You know, I have. <laughs> you're probably gonna keep this one. This is rare. Well, I have another one just like this, but it's an older engine okay. inside there. Uh, same setup, but um, uh, it's a, it's a uh, I think it's a snapper also. It's a yeah, snapper. it's a snapper, totally. Uh, and the deck is a little bit different design. Uh, that works, is cool. It works well, but you know, I put a new battery on it and it, it's, it's not going to start. I didn't. It has it. a key, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I never thought I'd do it, but anyway, Steve, do that again. I couldn't. <laughs> it hasn't been started though and for a while. Come I mean, on. Probably nine months or so. <laughs> that's old gas in there. I mean, that is so, so cool. I got lucky. So, oh, I was going to tell you about the snappers. So they're kind of interesting. So you got a, your your drive. And I'm not an expert on this. So, you know, if, if somebody's listening out there, um, you know, do your own homework and find out if I'm uh, embellishing things or whatever here. But they have the transmission is based on this wheel right here. So the drive sprocket for the transmission belt, depending on what position it is on the wheel, will drive this faster or slower. Because as you know, the distance on the outside of the wheel, one revolution is a lot longer than it is on the inside of the wheel. So if you have this drive belt on the outside of this disc, it's going to be going pretty fast. And you have like one through five here. So, um, and as you, this thing will show you, see how it moves? Oh, on different parts of that that drive wheel, yeah, which is driven by the engine. There's a belt going there, 
it drives this wheel, then a belt goes back to the transmission. Come on. It's, it's kind of a archaic type of transmission. But it's fun. There's no gears, it just drives it. Um, yeah, so it's kind of neat. Uh, then you got your throttle, like normal, and you got your uh, drive unit. This, this is this the, for the engine. That's just for wheel drive. Wheel drive. Our drive. Oh, self-propelled. Right. This is self-propelled. Yeah. Or you can push it, whatever. I rarely use self-propel. I always push everything. Oh, wait. You had the push McLean, the yeah. red one? So I just missed that one? I would have bought that one, too. Yeah, I sold for 100 bucks. I probably should have sold it for more. Because I, I I work a lot to get that thing cut as good as it did. Well, the McLean's got wheels. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then you, Casters. So he so swipes, swaps that out with those. We swap everything for rollers. So I only use smooth rollers in the summer. So that, you know, it kind of protects the grass. gives a little blanket because mm -hmm. it folds it over. But... 99% of the time I'm groove rolling it so it combs the grass and then it lifts it up a little bit. Oh, so you get a good cut on it. Boom, yep, You don't exactly. have to do as many swipes or you still do a thousand swipes anyways. <laughs> you already know, Steve. I call it burning it in. Burning in the stripes. <laughs> well, I better try to beat traffic. Ah, uh, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Would that be weird if I just showed up? Uh, just drive by. I don't know the guy personally other than talking oh, you don't? for okay. a few minutes that one day when I walked by his house. Yeah. Um, and he seemed personable. Mm -hmm. um, what, what's going on over there? I'll say Steve told me there's a nice lawn over here. I just decided yeah, to he, check it out. He's not going to know who I am. Oh, okay. I'll just um, I'll just pretend like I, I just drove by. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, you're the man. All right. Well, thanks, Jay. <laughs> nice Appreciate to meet it. you, brother. Yeah. Nice to meet you. We'll see you soon, and I'll uh, just keep in touch. Cool. All right. Thanks, Steve. Hey, Take Brad care, Shay. man. Yep. See ya. Thank you so much. That was cool. Nicholas had to show off your 10 blader. He just sold the freaking Push McLean. I've been look. I mean, I want the 10 blade one, but having that five blader is still fine. Oh my gosh. I wasn't expecting to buy two, two lawnmowers, but that's okay. And that's okay. And that's okay. That guy got a nice one, it's just brown. Oh my goodness gracious. Now that is a lawn, my friends. That is a lawn. Oh, you know what, this is hella weird. Just to show up, but everyone shows up to my place, so I'm gonna do it. I'm so sorry to bother you. Okay. I actually just bought a lawnmower and I just saw your lawn. Oh, okay. Come check it out. Um, it's amazing. What lawnmower do you use? Oh, uh, it's an Allen Sterling. What's next? A freaking Allen Sterling is just gonna fall into my lap from the sky? That'd be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Oh, you do have an Allen Sterling? Yeah. With the Ego? Yeah. Oh, nice. Are you kidding me right now? This is ridiculous. I mean, this is a lawn. This guy knows what he's doing. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm so sorry to pop on you like this, but when I <laughs> when I see something like this, it's rare, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just changed the stripe, so it really is not looking great right now. You're talking about the, so you're doing triple and then single? Yeah, and I yeah. just changed, they were double double for a long time, so it just looks a lot better. I'm Jay, by the way. Uh, Trevor. Trevor. Yeah. Yeah, from over there, it oh, looks bro. a lot darker, but that's the double stripe. Come on. And that's it. Well, fertilized. Come on. It's a really nice grass type. Why don't you have a YouTube channel? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I think they should. And actually, a lot of people tell me that, but. You need to. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I've been super impressed with this or not. It's, uh, it does a good job, but, uh, but it's a little, a little flimsy. I've, I've got mine reinforced. I've got the burning. Sheesh. You didn't like the swordman? Uh-uh, I didn't want the swordman. You know George? Princess Cat? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did Swordman. That's my buddy. He did Swordman and Alex side by side, and he was like, I wouldn't buy a Swordman. Yeah, he, he wasn't impressed with it. The, but, um, Alex but he didn't like he didn't really like his Alex much either, because I think he was wanting to upgrade. Yeah. Or he just got the the 43 
delivered. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what he said. So you have this is the groomer. That's a Vertica, yeah. Which pick call the groomer? That's I got the sorry, uh, I meant the Scarfire. Scarfire, yep. That's what they call it, the spring. Nice. Detach. That thing's really not equipped to it's not heavy duty enough for the detach, but I have mine modified to where it does. Nice, do it. nice. But I had to the mechanism. Um got my mechanism to where it has this little extra piece right here or nice. something i put a, a little extra piece that basically reinforces actually it's in there a little bit but it basically makes it so there's no play here okay where cool. before um this thing with the dethatch it hits a rock and this would bend and it would it would just kind of fall out where this is like super solid but um but yeah you just do that and pull that, that. So cool. and i've got mine modified where it's not a normal like it, it is harder for me to get cartridges in and out but it's it's not bad. But uh, I've got to push on that. It really comes out pretty easy. But... Oh yeah, yeah. And my but mine's not typical. It's just good to know that I've got mine modified. And then I, I adjust it every time. So it's not like just throw it in. Oh yeah, yeah. Otherwise it'd be noisy and. You're all you're paper cutting every before every mow. Yeah, same. Bro, I'm gonna apologize again. I I, I don't do this. <laughs> But sure. I've been, yeah, I've I, know, been... I know it's rare. Like if yeah. I drove by your lot, I'd probably see the, the same thing. <laughs> One more time, Trevor. This year, you've only watered twice. Yeah, and the first time I didn't even want to water, but I wanted to get the fertilizer from the ground. So it really has only needed one water. Wow. Water. Yeah. And it's not going to get brown in, in the in the summer. No, I'll, I'll water. I'll probably water in the summer. In the heat of the summer. I'll be yeah. doing twice. Twice a week. <laughs> like right now, I have my timers going. What time is it? It's going right now. It's four, yeah. I already went for 30 minutes in the front, 30 minutes in the back. Yeah, that, that's different, though. I mean, <laughs> that's, uh, even watering once a day, usually not supposed to do that. Right, but, right. But that'll should give you shallow roots because they'll just hang out wherever. But, but you think there'd be water everywhere. But the, you want it to dry out because the, mm -hmm. the water drying sucks the air down into the soil. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. there's other ways, there's a million ways to do it, I'm sure. But, yeah. but if you do deep, it'll pull the air in. Mm -hmm. And that'll help you. The roots will be like, I need to go here for the water. Then. See, the problem with mine is it's only an inch thick or something. Pretty much. And then rocks. Yeah. You know, those cookie cutter homes. Did yeah, this is amazing. I just like kind of ran out of patience. <laughs> <laughs> well, Trevor, nice to meet you, brother. Oh, yeah. Thank you for uh, letting me invade in your privacy. Oh. <laughs> right on. Come back in four or five days. And yeah. <laughs> like, this is hungry. Yeah, you can see that. You can see it right here. Yeah. This stripe is not burned in yet. For sure. Send me pics. Okay. I'll post it for the world to see. And make sure you start your YouTube channel. Yeah. I want to see that. We'll see. <laughs> right. Thanks, Trevor. See you, brother. So that's what it feels like to get to invade someone's privacy, like some of you guys do to me. <laughs> Dude, that was sheesh. Homeboys dialed in. I mean, you didn't even, you watered twice when it needed it, he said? Bro, we're watering too much. <laughs> yep, that's what it feels like, guys. Damn, you guys got the courage to come up to someone's house. I was nervous as shit. I don't do that, I'm not that guy. I don't do that. I don't, I don't want to show up to someone's house unannounced, but after seeing that lawn, 
that Steve told us to check out. I had to see it and it looks good. One inch, and you heard it, hat trick, perennial rye, watered twice this year. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he has, you know, a really good root system. And you know, he, he understood like I have a shallow root system because the soil is shallow. You feel me? But that lawn was amazing. I, I, Trevor, I know you're watching this. Trevor, you need to start a YouTube channel because we want to know your secrets. We want to know the secrets. I, I'm, 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 I'll be straight up with you. That's one of the most impressive lawns I've seen in person. It was so impressive. And then he said, and then, and then he said, it's hungry. It needs, it needs more food. Could you imagine that thing just dark? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, this, is, this is the episode of episodes. This is the episode of episodes. This is a fun one. This is too fun. This is too fun. You guys, oh my gosh. This is too fun. Wow. Trevor, thanks so much for letting me invade your privacy. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me trespass onto your property. <laughs> nice lawn. I love it. Okay, guys. Uh, we are about, again, one, two, three, one hour and 23 minutes away. I can't wait. I'm so, I mean, I'm, I'm like excited to get this mawa on the grass. Can't wait. Battery's about to die, so I'll see you guys there.
this is surprising the heck out of me. I mean, whoa, it looks like the web. <laughs> I let Travis borrow the web. We're gonna compare the two for sure. This is 10 blade, all metal. I'm pretty sure this is from the 80s. Pretty sure it's from the 80s. It cuts amazing for being rusty and not back lap jet. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 stripes. 16 ish stripes because it's a little dinky. It looks like the web, exactly like the web. I love it. At Co. I did not know this existed. I thought it was a web when I saw it. At Co. UK, amazing, cuts amazing, looks amazing. And this uh, Yardman is actually surprising the crap out of me too. It's cutting three quarters. If you guys are noticing the sidewalk grass, that's the new trend. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll show you guys, I'm gonna cut it. Guys, this is, this is just something else. I love it, I'm, I'm in love. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It's nice, it just causes, it causes rippling. Yeah, you can see the rippling. know about that huh what you know about that sidewalk grass huh lush what you know about that sidewalk grass huh lush come on you didn't know sidewalk grass is the new craze yes sir Proud to say I'm a YouTuber. Uh, <laughs> All right, we're gonna grab the ego. They like me. They really, really like me. Let's go give the backpack some mulching action. What an awesome day. What an awesome day. Oh, golden hour. I love it. It's getting kind of long back there. Guys, today was super fun. Like, stupid fun.
All right, let's knock out this mower real quick. And then uh, we'll call it, call it a night. Oh, it looks so good back here. Oh. oh. What is going on? Dudes, that's why it's called tall fescue because it likes <laughs> it likes to be tall, looks amazing. Tall, it's, it's almost looking like a yard, it's like 65%. It looks good, guys. I had an amazing day today, that was too fun. That is, that is just like it's not a typical day, right? It's definitely like a typical pick up a mower day, but. I'm out here just, just doing it. Just having fun. Hopefully you guys are getting entertained. I, I thank you for watching, seriously, that's why I do this stuff. Like I say, all the time. But getting that at co, hanging out with Trevor, all these compliments, crazy. Grass is looking fire, backpack is looking really fire. I mean, you have to see it up close, it looks ridiculous. But you guys are the best. We'll catch you in the next video. Make it easy. Yeah, wow. Wow, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the middle. Yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna overseed here soon and then fill up the bare spots. Doesn't that look like a lawn now? Yeah, it is. Nice. That's Ehat. You can smell it. Look at look at this, look at this, look at, look at iron. Look at the iron. Mm -hmm. Makes it black. Isn't that funny? Gotta pop them that tomorrow. Look at that. That's 1970s cutter right there. I have to oversee it again because of the birds. I mean, dead. Look at this right here. Yeah, dead, come on. It's definitely nighttime. Oh my gosh, look at him. Look at them Atco stripes. Are they charging, Dad? Yeah. The batteries are charging, right? Yeah. Let me do it. Take it, Blow it that way. Do you think that makes it right? No, just put it over there. I put it right there.